Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So we're going to talk a little bit about CSRF and guys listen up because this is going to be a super important video about CSRF. Now, what CSRF is basically is, is it's just a token that's being generated by the server and whenever the user submits a form, he needs that token. If the token is not correct, the server is not going to accept the response. Now, what's the functionality behind that? Let's say I'm browsing this website, but there's also a different website. And on that website, they're going to have a function that is going to impact me as a user of the cheese block. So I am on the block right now, as you can see, um, and it's going to be there's different vulnerabilities let's say in here that we're going to need to chain because as you can see i have a home button here i have a login button that's the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to enumerate all of my functionality important i also have a search function i can read more about the blog post and then if i scroll down i can see that i have some categories now this is all very interesting of course but for me this challenge you can basically achieve it in two ways now First of all, you can have weak admin credentials. In this case, it's just test test. But of course, whenever I see a login portal, I try all different types of things. I try test test, admin admin, uh, password one, two, three, four, password one, just the basics, you know, I just try them. And I know it's quite a lot to try, but if you try them, that's going to uh, help you out in the end. You just have to persist and just try it at every single possibility that you find. Now, for this specific uh, vulnerability, you can edit specific posts. So if I go into a post and I'm logged in, I can edit this post. So as you can see, it's not going to be on any surface level functionality because if I make a new post, there is no uh, CSRF token in here. So that could also be considered a CSRF vulnerability, but that new post is not the one that's particularly interesting to us today. So what we want to see is that edit post functionality, because if I look here and I inspect the page source, I can see a CSRF uh, token in here. And as you can see, it's a hidden field with a random alphanumerical value in it. Basically, this is just a hex value that is being pumped into here as a token. Uh, and this particular token, well, you can try different things to see if this is a token that is accepted properly and checked properly most of all because right now whenever i'm on my website i have an added functionality but if i have an attacking website say i'm a hacker and i'm going to try and edit a, sp a specific post from my website but i'm not going to make it seem like you're editing a post i'm going to make it seem like you just won a thousand dollars and all you have to do is click a button now the moment you click that button it's going to edit the post here because it's just going to send this specific request to the edit.php with the post variables that it needs and it's going to be pretty catastrophic if you ask me um now there are several ways to to circumvent to prevent this of course the first thing that is going to happen is what you see here is a csrf token and this csrf token is basically being generated by the server again the client needs to know this token this token is being set when the page loads it's basically being filled in and there's not really an easy way for an attacker to know this token now if i edit this post i can see that it works of course because I have a proper CSRF token. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the CSRF token a little bit. And now what you need to understand very carefully, and this is extremely important, you need to look for CSRF vulnerabilities on impactful functions like editing a specific post, deleting a specific post, uh, creating a new post is also pretty impactful, but that kind of out of scope right now, so let's just ignore that. Login is not impactful. Logout is not impactful because you need to know the specific usernames to actually log in as the user and their password as well. That is not something easy. Logout, you can make somebody log out. It's annoying, but it's not particularly impactful. Now, if I can edit this post while not entering the correct CSRF token, that means that I, as an attacker, can also include this as a hidden form on my website and put it behind a completely different uh, seeming functionality. Like, for example, you won $1,000, and if you click on it, the form gets executed. 
Now, how do we test for this? You can do it in Burp Suite. You can do it by basically just editing the values here as well. It doesn't really matter. Now, as for this token, we can try giving it a random value. Let's do that. So let's just enter some random value. This should not work. But as you can see, it did work. And that's the solution to this particular laboratory as well, is this CSRF token. It's there, but it's never checked. You can do anything with it. You can remove it. You can make it an empty value. You can make it a value of the same length. It doesn't really matter. So that's what this CSRF vulnerability specifically was about. Now, if you're out and about hunting for CSRF vulnerabilities, remember one impactful functionalities. Don't do it on login and log out and all of that stuff. And two, you can do it in several different ways but just make sure that you do the impactful functionalities. You can do it in your developer console. You can do it in Burp Suite. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you do it as long as you do it properly. So that's about it for this lab. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye amazing hackers.